Hello, Rural America. This is your trusted team of advisors at Compure Financial. We wanted to provide a quick update on challenges and issues facing producers today. As you know, 2019 had its own set of challenges with prevent plant and ongoing rule changes. 2020 has had its own new challenges with COVID. We wanted to take a few minutes to share a newer way of thinking in regards to risk management and review or touch base on government programs affecting producers today. So please take a few minutes of your time and watch our video. Thank you. Hello, this is Carl again from Compare Financial. You might remember us chatting back in January of this year when we talked a little bit about ARC and PLC decisions as well as WIP Plus. Today, I want to remind everyone of the additional programs that you may have already or will be taking action on soon. ARC and PLC payments typically come out the first week of November. As a reminder, price tracking ends on those programs this August for the 2019 crop. WIP Plus applications are being worked on by the FSA as well as CFAP. Rumor has it around mid to late summer through the HEROES Act, additional dollars may be available through the CCC program for row crop producers. So these are some of the programs that the government or USDA came out to help us in this time of need for 2020. Now I'm asking you, what are you doing to take care of your business for 2021? Right now, there are things that you can personally do to reduce risk by setting a minimum revenue guarantee through crop insurance. Your 2020 policy is set in place. However, there are opportunities right now to lock in prices that will be used for the 2021 crop year. This slide shows our foundation business principles here at Compere. First, we need to determine your cost of production, which outlines the risk at hand. Obviously, no one wants to sell below their cost of production, as that would be counterproductive to securing your financial future. And we have new financial technology available to lock out the bottom side for the crop that you will plant a year from now. We will look to raise your price and yield floor to a place that sets you up to potentially cover cost. We have access to several products that can help us put a price floor in place very early in the planning stages for next year's crop on all anticipated acres. Establish minimums that cover as many of the input costs as possible and leave open the option to sell when the markets rally. What we have to share does not cost a thing unless it's truly what's needed and is a right fit for your operation. We've talked already about the importance of recognizing risk and leveraging opportunity as being critical to creating and managing and executing the plan. These fundamentals of risk management outline our focus here at Compere. Writing down your goals will help us be agile when the opportunity presents itself, even if it's here in advance. The only thing in farming that guarantees you money is the minimum revenue guarantee embedded in your crop insurance policies. These advanced tools help us provide the most guaranteed bushels of forward contract, establish the highest net minimum revenue floor, as well as deliver the most net positive cash flow. What you are looking at is a seasonal price chart for December corn futures, taking into account price trends between 1959 and 2019. The green line shows the seasonal price trends between now and the end of the calendar year. The blue line is the beginning of May and the yellow shaded area is the time of opportunity. To summarize this, this chart shows that May and June timeframes, a year before the crop is even planted, consistently is a high water mark for prices that will be available to producers and years of large supply of stocks. This price chart shows the highest seasonal price is typically made in June of the previous year, as we mentioned prior. And you can see here the red line is typically where your underlying RP policy sets its price, which is during the month of February. This is a corn supply and demand table for the crop that was just planted in 2020. Columns A, B, and C model potential outcomes of what ending stocks could look like, depending upon how many acres get planted based off of 174 bushel trend line yield. As you can see at the bottom, analysts are calling for the largest ending stocks of corn since 1987. 
You can also see what they anticipate the national average price to be for corn, ranging from 280 to 320. If we can rally 2021 futures back up in that 370 to 390 price range for 2021, we will be at levels where many of our clients can establish a minimum crop insurance revenue that will come very close to covering their anticipated cost. If we can lock up the bottom side at or near your cost of production using these products, then we will not have to rely on government program payments, which may or may not be available in 2021. And yet, you still have unlimited upside should markets rally. Remember, just because prices are lower than what we experienced in the last couple of years, doesn't mean prices can't go lower yet. At Compere, we have several tools at our disposal. This particular postcard helps us document what your cost of production is and also what the price you are targeting for execution. We will be entering these values into our revenue price alert system so that we can be notified whenever your price goals hit. If or when that price hits, we can be in contact with you to remind you of your price goal and help you execute the plan we discussed. Let us help you stay accountable. There are several ways that you can get in contact with us here at Compere Financial. You can simply contact your insurance officer or you can visit our website at compere.com. As your team of trusted advisors, we combine expertise and exclusive technology to deliver personalized financial risk management recommendations based off of your data.